Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Drew, and this is Mona, and, and we, we are, are the EV Kiwis. Today we're doing something fun and different. Um, here in Auckland, we've been stuck in lockdown for about two, two and a half weeks, and we've got a little bit more to go. Um, and we've been cooped up, so we thought mm. we'd do something different and spend some time with Hedwig and getting to know Hedwig, our Tesla, a bit better. Yeah, so what we're going to do is look at the entertainment features that this car has to offer. Things like games, watching movies, listening to music. Yep, so we're super excited. Oh, and we're sleeping out in Hedwig tonight. So let's see how that goes. All right, so let's get some games sorted and let's go and check out what the entertainment box and the toy box actually have and what can we do with it. Let's go. All right, so... I am going down into the little bar and going into entertainment. Wow, that's a lot of games. It's quite a few, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's got solitaire. Let's see, single player. It tells us, okay, we can use the touch screen for it. Hey, is that a Tesla logo on there? Yes, it is. Oh, that's cute. I like how they've got, oh my God, that's adorable. All right, so you can, wait, that... oh wait, no, they're different colors. I'm like, I've forgotten how to play. <laughs> <laughs> It's, oh, it's got themes. We can go in. Oh, you can change themes, which is nice. Card back. Okay, I want the red back, which is cute. Or the sun or the wind. Has to be that red Tesla logo. <laughs> or the compass. That's cool. I like how you can actually customize this and you can have a larger suite. Oh, that's nice. If you want, if you don't like the tinier suits, we can have the larger ones. All right, so that's Solitaire. What else does it have? Uh, it's got Cat Quest. I like cats. It's one. Oh, player. you need controllers for this. You can play with controllers? Yes, like you can. actual video game controllers. Yeah, so if you've got an Xbox or a PlayStation controller, you can actually plug it into the USB port and play games with it. Do we have a controller at home? No, we don't, sadly. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I need to buy you a console first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so we've got so Cat Quest. Okay, that's like single player. Do we have any multiplayer games? Hey! Racing, racing has to be two players, right? Yep, okay, two yes, players. Yes, it is, and you can actually play this with your steering wheel as well. So the no car way. steering wheel. Oh, okay, okay, we have to play this, let's go. Uh, warning, do not use the gear stock, etc. Oh, yes, okay. don't drive the car. <laughs> Just crash into the <laughs> All right, let's go, let's let's try this. But how are you gonna play? You don't have a steering wheel. This controls on the screen, apparently. Should be fun. Can I switch if I don't like this thing? Wait, would this bear up the tires? If you play it lots, Okay, so if you're playing this game quite a bit or you've got kids who are playing this and you don't want to wear out the tires, um, I'm sure there's going to be, hopefully, controls on the screen as well. Okay, two players. I'm going to be the cute girl. Who do you and want to be? And I'll be the stylish boy. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> I'm flower power. You're burning rubber. Okay, so let's play beginner chill mode. Yeah, let's try chill yeah, first. Yeah, let, let's try chill. Okay. Oh wait, it does have go. controls. Here's over controls here. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, my steering wheel has become a lot more comfortable. Wait, how do I increase power? It just keeps accelerating. Ah. So all you have to do is what? steer and brake. I suck at this. Wait, where's brake? Do I use? Okay, I have to use this. Oh, that. Okay, I think I'm gonna play out here. Wait, I'm in the water now. No. I think you can use the actual brake as well. I don't want to try. There's a fence in front of me, so. First place, yo. Sixth place and I uh, crashed so much. Uh, no, repeat. I want a repeat match. <laughs> hey, that was a cool game. I wonder if you're actually playing with other people. No, I don't think so. So th you don't think this is like... No. Oh, okay. All right. Want to play again? No. Uh, I yeah. didn't even play with the... <laughs> let's try something new. Okay, let's try. Oh, I got a new driver. Nice. All right, so these, that was the racing buggy game. It's got a lot of old school games, so you can have Asteroid. It's got Centipede, uh, which is pretty awesome. I remember playing this like on an old school as computer, <laughs> like a little mini game. Uh, so that was cool. It's got Cat Quest. Yeah, so a lot of these games look like they do need controllers. Uh, you can play a few single player touch games. So you can play chess if you're bored and you're sitting uh, waiting for your car to charge or, or whatever. Uh, so this is a two-player game, but it says it's a controller and a touchscreen, which means one person can play using the touchscreen and another one has to have a controller to play two players on this. Let's check out the theater mode now. All right, let's go. Theater mode. All right, so it's got Twitch, YouTube, Netflix. And YouTube Tesla first. Oh yeah, I've logged in. I already logged have in. <laughs> I did. Have you logged in? Are you sure? I did. It, is, um, it does take a while to load though. 
which is which not what I was expecting. I thought it it would kind of be in a mem like cache memory, like it is with laptops. Now uh, Tesla apps tend to uh, fully quit and restart every time you close and reopen. I it. guess. I guess it is a good thing in, in that profile. All right. Oh, look, hearing. whose channel is that? See, I told you, I, I, I logged in to our channel. Hey, shameless plug. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked out our first video. Go and check it out. Go check it out. It's, it's, it's how we picked up and how lucky we were to pick it up just a day before lockdown. So we're very, very lucky and feeling blessed. So yeah, go check it out if you haven't seen it. We are the Yui Kiwis. Okay, so you can, it's, it's a normal YouTube thing. Let's um, try play it and see how quickly it loads. And the quality as well, I guess, the audio. Oh, That's sadly we us. got an ad. Well, no, it's a good thing we got an ad. <laughs> Did you just skip our own ad? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. It actually it, loaded pretty fast. It, it did. And the volume can be controlled? Yes, it can. There we go. Ooh, that bass! Didn't realize the standard range plus had a good bass. Yeah, and it's not tinny. I thought it was very tinny, but. So you can check out the rest of the radio online. Yeah, actually go and check us out. And if you've got a Tesla, maybe play it in your Tesla and see what you think of the bass. Like that, that felt really good listening to that. It did. Such a great bass. And this is the standard range model. So that was a great surprise. Yeah. Quite happy with that actually. All right, so that is basically the YouTube section of it. Um, let's see, Netflix. So you can sit and actually watch movies and TV shows and stuff, which is pretty awesome. You can switch on to kids mode. Basically, you've got Netflix that you watch on TV right on, on, on your little um, Tesla screen as well. All this right, will be awesome for tonight when we're in this car. Yeah, just need some popcorn, a bottle of wine, relax, a comfy bed. We can't turn this into a comfy bed, right? Hopefully. Uh, we'll Hopefully. let you guys know. You, you will be experiencing this with us, so let's see. All right, so that was uh, Netflix, Twitch, um, YouTube, and we go back to arcade mode. So that's a lot of games. Let us know what's your favorite game and what you thought, and have fun playing games, and then we'll let you guys know we should probably start setting up our bed. No, we got one more thing to oh, cover before that. What is that? The toy box. Oh, wait, it has a Santa mode. I want the Santa mode. Yeah. Yay, you! <laughs> <laughs> it was you! <laughs> <laughs> you are you didn't see that. <laughs> yes! The famous Tesla fart mode. Yes, it is. Or as they call it, emissions testing mode. Em How? Mm, okay <laughs> then. <laughs> emissions testing. All right. Santa mode. All right. I can't wait for Christmas. Well, it's just around the corner. So it's got Santa mode on it. Let's see if this will understand me. Okay. Right stick. Ho, ho, ho. There you go. Look at that custom modified Tesla. Oh my god, that is awesome. Someone's in Christmas mode already. Oh yeah. Just hot chocolate, marshmallows, that would be perfect. It's snowing. I mean, it's 16 degrees in Auckland, but it's snowing on my Tesla. <laughs> That's so cool. How do I turn it off? My neighbors are figuring, off. oh there it is, I don't want to, I didn't want to force shut it. But no, that's pretty awesome, it was snowing as well. Okay, I've taken the, the, the reindeers off and Santa has gone back to his sleigh and left my Tesla alone. What else does it have? So that was the Santa mode. Mars That'd be mode. Great. Oh yes, Mars. It's taking us to Mars. So it's shown, so if you turn it on, it takes us on to Mars. So our map turns into Mars. That's pretty awesome. Wait, what's the black? I wonder what here, what's here in actual real life that it's got a black square. Elon finally found the black hole for us. <laughs> All right, so that is basically Mars mode. So when we drive, it, our little rover will drive around on Mars. All right, what's Rainbow Road? Rainbow Road actually turns Ooh. your road into a wonderful, colorful rainbow. Oh, okay, that, that's super awesome. So we'll check that out when we are driving. Yeah, that would be fun. What is those tracks? You can create your own music while you wait for your car to supercharge. Um, yeah, so that's for people who can play music. <laughs> for me, it's probably just pressing buttons. Okay, so how do I play this? You just touch random things on oh. the square. That's cool. 
Let's do a random mix. There you go. See, that's how you do it. That's not bad for random mix. <laughs> Maybe you should try this out as well. Let us know what music you can make, especially if you're an artist. This might be something fun for you to try out. Maybe you never know. You get turn up with new music. It seems to have a lot of um, instruments. So regardless of the instrument that you play, you're very likely to actually find it in this. That's pretty awesome, especially if you're sitting there charging your car or just spending some quality time. This is something you can totally do. All right. What else does it have? It's got a romance mode. It turns on the heaters and it gets a fire going, which is pretty awesome. This will be perfect for tonight. It will be really good. So we're camping out. Well, not camping out. We are spending the night in the head rig. Hopefully it's comfortable. Is it giving out? Oh, it's, it's throwing out hot air as well. So that's It nice. does. And it turns your seat heaters on as well. You're kidding. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hot right now. So I'm just going to turn this off. <laughs> so let's, let's just stop. Please stop. Stop it, Hedwig. It's too warm. <laughs> All right, so that was romance mode. It's got a sketch pad. Ta-da! Eevee Kiwis. Eevee Kiwis. That's fun. Hey, you know what? You can actually publish this and get Tesla to yeah, post it somewhere. Yeah, I was going to ask what this publish. So you want Tesla to critique your artistic masterpiece. Anyway, we'll uh, set up our bed for tonight. Well, for now, I just want to lie down for a while. Uh, and maybe we can watch some movies for a while. Oh, I want popcorn. You should get popcorn. Get settled in. Let's do it. Well, we've made it into the car. We're lying down on our comfy little makeshift bed. We were a little skeptical getting into the car, whether or not it would be comfortable or not. Um, I'm about five seven, five eight, and I drove around six. So we weren't sure whether we'd fit, but actually we we're happily surprised. We're comfortable. We're fitted in very well. Um, I think we can show you guys exactly how much space we've got. Um, you'll see that my feet are not touching the door. I mean, if I do try and stretch it, then yes, we, I am touching the door. And Drew, I think you're sleeping on an angle though. Yeah, I have to be a bit angled, obviously, because I'm a little taller. But it's actually not as bad as I thought. Like, Is it comfortable or will you, do you think you'd get tired during the night? No, I, I think it's definitely doable. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Um, especially because you do relax your body a bit, so you're not stiff as a board when you sleep. So I think, I personally think it should be all right. Yeah, so, so we comfortably gotten into the bed. We've got a blanket, we've got a pillow, uh, we've got the nice warmth in the car. It's very cozy. What you'll notice is I've got a blanket. So when we made our makeshift bed, instead of putting a mattress in, I've just got a blanket. It's actually very cozy and soft and comfortable. I think you can also get a mattress, a custom yes. mattress. So you could either get an air mattress, like yep. what you would, as long as it fits in the car, anything yes. would do. Um, but you actually also get custom fit mattresses for the model 3 as well oh interesting so what would have so i'm assuming because obviously if you get an air mattress or, or a custom mattress it will have a bit of height to it so you're more, more likely to lose a bit of height to head ratio i suppose yes um, yeah even even with this opening you can see we've got plenty of space here um obviously if you add an air mattress about this thick then you're going to lose that much space yeah and i think to be honest, with the blanket, I'm comfortable. I don't feel the harshness or hardness of the seats. Uh, you can feel it a little bit, but it's more like having a very stiff bed or a hard bed to sleep on rather than it being uncomfortable. So I'm actually, I wouldn't mind sleeping on the blanket just it itself because it's actually very comfortable. So when you're out the back, the best thing in the Model 3 is being able to control the temperature through the app. There's no need to reach for the front screen. All you got to do is open up the app go to the section that says climate and once you click on it you can set the temperature right from the comfort of your seat another cool thing here is what you see called the vent mode now vent mode is very interesting because when you click on it and what essentially the car does it opens up all four windows just a tiny amount just about this much here and it lets fresh air come through all right, one more thing, and I know we'll talk about this in a bit, but what I need to show you guys first is there's another cool mode that the Tesla or Hedwig has. It is called the campfire mode, which we've got on right now. 
So if you go camping, this is something you can turn on. What it does is it's got temperature set as well. Um, it's cute to look at. It's got a little camp. It's got a little fire going. The car is starting to heat up as well to the temperature that you previously set. You can turn this on and go to bed, um, go to sleep pretty much in your makeshift bed. Um, and over, uh, I think it takes about 10 minutes to turn on. That's what it took. And it will turn off the screen to all black, but the temperature will still get maintained. It'll keep going in the back end so that's a very nifty mode to have on now the reason I'm sitting like this is I really wanted to show this to you guys as comfortable as we were in while we were lying down and sleeping it is a little bit daunting and this we've got no mattress on so it does it doesn't have a lot of headroom if you want to sit up so you will have to hunch a little if you're sitting in here and if you decide to eat um, or just have a chat it's a little uncomfortable I mean it's great for five or ten minutes max even after that you'd start feeling a little ache in your neck and pain um, so it's not as comfortable it is it is probably better to just lie down and talk and this is a lot more comfortable because my neck isn't as painful as it was before so yeah it's not a lot of headroom if you want to sit that's great for sleeping in and if you feel like sitting down you could always go up the front yes that's probably the best that I know. it'd be a lot more comfortable sitting up front you've got enough headroom to do that then well i hope you guys enjoyed getting to know the entertainment features and the toy box and we've gotten very comfortable in the back we've got a fire going now it's gotten dark so it's time for us to grab a movie eat some popcorn and have a good night well if you enjoyed our video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and share this videos with your family and friends and if you're thinking about getting a new tesla don't forget to use our referral link down in the description below and as always guys stay, stay charged, charged.